also realise it's partly because I don't know what I'm doing. So if you tap on... Oh, golly gosh, you're not doing well. Hello, we're back again with another video. My name's Alice, and if you're new here, we talk about books, chats, vlogs, car vlogs, lifestyle, a bit of everything, you know, a bit of something for everyone. So if that's something you'd be interested in, or you're looking for someone to stick on in the background whilst you make yourself a meal, clean your room, or do that task you've been putting off, maybe you want to listen to me as well, then I'm your gal, so consider hitting that subscribe button and welcome on in to the family. And if you're a returning viewer, Thank you so much for your continued support. We are faced once again with the dilemma of it being pitch black in England at 6am. My hair, I don't know what it's doing today, so we're going to clip it up. I do know what it's doing today. Say it with me, people. It's the day after washing. Woohoo! Did some bits and bubbles out. Hopefully you've continued watching it because I looked very dishevelled at the start of this video. Fun times. So you'll never guess what we're going to talk about today. Dun, 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 dun. Don't you already read the title. We're going to be learning how to use the Kindle. Now, I know this sounds silly, but I just think I'm not using my Kindle to its maximum potential. As we know, I'm much more a physical copy gal, particularly when I'm at home. I do tend to go towards the physical copy, but that's just because I enjoy to hold it, you know, while I'm reading it. I also have nothing against the Kindle. It's just good for being on the go etc i don't necessarily grab this at home but i also realized it's partly because i don't know what i'm doing i kind of never looked up how to use it tips and tricks all of that jazz just kind of thought i'd be self-explanatory and for the most part it is there's definitely some features i could be using that i'm not yeah i thought we'd learn it today together because maybe you're also in this position and you don't know it either let's do it let's get on with today's video oh sneak peek as to what's in my library the first thing i'm just following this one website which is quite fun so credit to the website for its ideas and basically everyone else I had a little scour through reddit as well but these are the kind of general things that I found people said was helpful if we take an example of a book i.e the lost bookshop I haven't read this yet but would like to here we are first page prologue so if you tap on oh golly gosh you're not doing well if you tap on the top of the screen you get these three dots and we get this thing that says x-ray now i didn't realize that this is phenomenal it gives you basically a breakdown of the page and what's going on around that time it gives you notable clips so things that perhaps a lot of people have highlighted or like on this page you get a tab that says people so it tells you about people in the book which is really cool so if it mentions someone for example jane austen it says jane austen was an english novelist and it kind of tells you a bit about that person and also characters as well describes them with a quote so that's cool you also got terms so things that you maybe need to understand throughout the book so trinity university for example if you didn't know where that was kind of set the first scene for you and then it does have images as well so obviously it has the book cover but i don't know what else would be over on in the book but i don't want to spoil it for myself i think that's quite cool and then yeah let's go back to the library and crack on with the next one this is probably my favorite thing about using the kindle is that you can have your annotations and you can highlight on the go and it's great let's take pmp as an example if we go on to the first page you can see i highlighted the first quote so to highlight you just literally drag and then it highlights it for you if you want to undo you press undo if you want to write a note you can write a note if you want to share it you may share it now the best thing about all of this i will say i am yet to find a better way to organize this because I'm not aware if you can see your clippings or just one book, but you do have a your clipping and basically has all of the things that you've highlighted, annotated from various books. So for example, we're still in A Court of Thorns and Roses right now. Yep, I am still in A Court of Thorns and Roses. I did read five books, so that's fine. Okay, here we go, P and P. See, I had to scroll through all of them to get here, but I do have lots of things highlighted and it just shows you what you've highlighted and and also, I believe you can see the notes you made as well. For example, when she found herself suddenly addressed by Mr. Darcy, who took her so much by surprise in his application for her hand that without knowing what she did, she accepted him. 
dun dun dun. See, love it, great vibes. I do think perhaps we need to find a better way to be able to organize that. I'll do some deep digging, but I do like that it is in your clothing so you can just go through them and see. Now I might have messed it up a little bit because I do have the A Court of Thorn and Roses bundle. That is five books in one. So it doesn't go A Court of Thorn and Roses this, A Court of Mist and Fury this. It's just throughout the whole five books, which is a little bit long, but that's okay, that's okay. We have that you can store a book series. If we go to settings, I'm pretty sure I already have this turned on. My Kindle is a slightly newer generation, so I think this is different. Let me show you. So we go settings, then we go to home and library. Then if you go on the library tab, it says group series, you can turn this on. And this just basically means it automatically groups the books together, which I think is really helpful. So if we go here, for example, and then we look for corrupt, in corrupt, it now has all of the books in the series. It makes it really easy to find everything. I just think it's a little bit more easy to organize. So that's a good tip and trick. There's also a good one about Kindle book deals. So if you have an Amazon account, every now and then you'll probably get an email saying some books that you liked or maybe they recommend for you are on sale, 99p. I mean, fantastic, go for it. But also I've kind of spoke about this before. They do actually do free books as well. Obviously you have Prime Reading, Kindle Unlimited if you have the subscription. But if if you go into Amazon on your laptop or website, you can look, I think you can look through these on the app as well, but I don't think you can actually purchase Kindle books on the app because it's like a different platform. You go on to bestsellers and you scroll down, it says Kindle bestsellers at the bottom and it says top 100 paid, top 100 free. So if you actually go on the free tab, you can download some for free. Obviously they're going to be rather, there's normally quite a lot of thrillers on there. And then there's the occasional classic. There's some good ones. For example, I've got 1984, Brave New World, a few books like that when they've been on offer for free on there. Definitely check that out. If you want a better video explaining how to do that, I will because this is also how you can do stuff your Kindle day as well because certain types and genres, that authors put them on there for free for a limited period of time. So you can also do it via that way as well. So let me know if that's something you would like to be shown, probably told about and I will help you. Now, I didn't know you could do this, but this is fantastic. So you can actually link your Kindle with your Goodreads and then you can have your want to read list on your Kindle homepage. I mean, for me, I don't have a want to read list because I get a bit overwhelmed by it, but I feel like that's quite cool. And I think you can share your thoughts and you just don't have to see all the reviews all the time. I think that's really cool. I didn't know you could do that. So shall I link my Goodreads account? Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we can do that next time. I think if you also connect Goodreads, you can see what your friends are reading like you would do on the app. The kind of the way this website markets it but doesn't market it is that it's like your own mini book club which I think is kind of cute. So yes, not my idea, completely their idea and none of this is sponsored. Obviously, this is just me learning how to use my Kindle. Okay, so all good. I didn't know this but you can put a passcode on your Kindle. I will perhaps do this when I'm traveling or abroad but while I'm at home I can't be bothered to keep passcode on it so it will stay unlocked for the mo <laughs> but it is possible so again if you want help with this let me know and i can teach you how to do it also if your family members or your friends use kindles you can actually make family library a home library all together so i think that's pretty cool and it just basically means that like you can read each other's books that you paid for i don't know if you have to be in the same household i'm not sure how it works but that's pretty a cool thing you know if you and your friend want to share books or you and your family members want to share books this way i mean some of the things on here i might not want to share but I think that's also very sweet and wholesome. Again, if you want help with this, let me know. I've never done it before. Oh, I'm not so good at right? Also for people that have children with Kindles, you can obviously do parental controls. I don't need to do parental controls because I am a 24 year old adult with no kids. <laughs> So that just needs to be clear. So I don't need parental controls. Maybe I do, who knows? I'm joking. You can also do a quick, easy Google if you want to put parental controls on these. It is possible, so that's great as well. Now this is something groundbreaking. I did not know this existed and I'm definitely gonna be checking it out in a future video. You can borrow eBooks on your Kindle from local libraries. 
wild, okay? All you need is a library card, obviously amazing. And then you can just go on this online app and connect it, and boom, you've got all these ebooks. So I'm pretty sure it's acceptable worldwide. The app is called Libby. We will talk about the holes one day. Today is not that day. It looks really, really fun and really cool. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing this in a video coming up. Because I think this is really a good idea that you can get ebooks on your Kindle from a library. Oh my god, I love it. I can't believe that thought never even crossed my mind before. All right, another thing I love about the Kindle is you can create a collection, which I think is amazing. So, for example, if you are on your main library screen, you click the three dots, press create a collection, and say we wanted to create, let's go for dark romance. So that's what I'm reading at the moment. And I'm still a little bit terrified. There, we've called it dark romance. We're gonna press create. And then you can just add and tick all the books that you want. And now we have a collection, which is super cool. Then if we go to these dots here, or lines, and we press collection, it shows you by collection. You can go on the dark romance one, and it has them all there for you. So it's a great time, great vibe. I like having the pictures, I think it's fun. You can do it in a list, but... Yeah, so that was pretty awesome. Hmm? I'm it is great for finding out words mean. For example, if you're in Pride and Prejudice and you don't know what the word beauty means. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bingley. Oh, sorry. Hello. See, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not like good at it. Yet. I don't want Mr. Bingley. And if you press it, it automatically searches for the dictionary and it says beauty, a combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially the sight. I was struck by her beauty. And area of outstanding natural beauty, a combination of qualities that pleases the intellect. So there you go, and you can see, this was very helpful during Pride and Prejudice because there were some long and intimidating words in there every now and then. So it was good to just check what they meant. Obviously, you don't have that in a physical copy, you have to look it up yourself, but I normally just firm it and guess the meaning, because why not? Obviously, you can customize things. So with the top menu, you can say, oh, not that menu. You can say how you want your font and the size of the text as well. You can do, so that's like your theme. You can also do your layout, which is really helpful. You can have it exactly how it's good for you reading. And you can put like your reading progress. You can do location in the book, how long left for the chapter. And also you can do how long left until the end of the book, depending how you prefer to read. So that is all in this more section. You can have the clock available where you read. I don't. <laughs> book mentions about this book. Popular highlights. So I'll show you popular highlights highlighted as you're reading. You don't have to have this on. I just like to see what other people think. Sometimes I see a quote and I'm like, yes, yeah, straight away. Loads of other people have done that as well. So I do like that. And then it says highlight menu, automatically show the highlight menu when you select a passage of text. Yeah, very helpful. And then you can do page turn animation, but this is not available. I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? Let me know. I also didn't realize this. So you can actually take screenshots on a Kindle. So you just have to tap the upper right and the lower left corner and it should have a flash. You tap them at the same time and that will basically create a screenshot. And when you plug this into a laptop, it will come up as a PNG file. That's pretty cool if you wanted to screenshot a specific page for whatever purpose. That's a good thing. I didn't know they did this. You know, learn something new every day. So obviously, again, not sponsored, but there is a Kindle app. If you can't take your Kindle with you for whatever reason, but you have your phone and you want to continue, then you want to make sure that your books are synced up. So if you go back on the settings, oh, I don't want to go in that one. You go on device options. There's something here called whisper sync. If you turn that on, then that means that it will basically sync everything with your or other device you're reading on so your highlights your notes and also where you are in the book so i should then theoretically i'm joking it does work pick up my phone and continue reading straight from where i was reading don't have to find my page or anything so make sure you've got that turned on because that is very very helpful now i haven't tried this yet and i will try this in a future video so you know you have the lock screen and it comes up with books etc or adverts then you can change this to actually have the book cover you're reading at that time which i think is really cool and i think i'm gonna do you have to have a kindle without ads and you can pay to have no ads i don't know how much it is but i'm gonna do a little research into that for another video if you'd like to see that stay tuned it will be coming but you can actually put the book you're reading on the cover i just think that's great because it comes up with all these books and sometimes i think you don't know me at all 
Wait, that's not my style of book. That's not going to appeal to me. We're still getting to learn to love each other. Okay. And then the final thing I'm going to leave you with today is that you can actually read your own work on the Kindle. So again, if this is something you're interested in, let me know because I will do a proper in-depth video on this but you can actually upload something that you have written you can read it on your kindle because all you need to do is make it a kindle compatible file now you can also do this for other things so i may or may not be reading a certain very 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 well-known dramani fan fiction and i may or may not have it downloaded on my kindle and we're 68 percent through and you can just read it Honestly, stay tuned for that because I'm gonna lose it. I just know. Isn't that an excellent thing? So you can literally just find a file, put it in the right format, and boom, on your Kindle, you can read it. Obviously, don't like get in trouble if you're supposed to pay for things and you're trying to pirate it. I'm not condoning that. Just saying that things, for example, like fan fiction or things you've written yourself, you can actually put them in the file and send them to your Kindle and read them on here, which is really, really cool because I don't know about you, but trying to read that fan fiction on its main page on my laptop just it just wasn't hitting the same i needed something else and the kindle has saved me so i so so i think that's all we got today i hope you learned some kindle tips and tricks with me it was nothing really too groundbreaking but i definitely learned some new features today so i hope you did too if you're interested in those other ones then come back for a future video where we really go in depth and we talk about it. I mean, you can also go and have a Google. I'm, I'm not gonna do that, I don't do that. Because I'd rather get reading, but I don't want to be going on forever because I've been going on for a very, very long time. I'm gonna be quiet now and I hope this was helpful in some way. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Have you subscribed? Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you very much. And as always, until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye! Whoa, what's happening with my voice today? Besties. Should I decorate it? I don't know. Part of me wants to get some stickers, but part of me doesn't. The future book in a future video. See, look, the Oyster Diver's Secret from the popular supernatural. It's kind of cool. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I'll take it back.